In this video, we're going to look at teacher reports and some gradebook settings. Let's start with teacher reports. You can generate several different types of reports, such as progress reports, grade verifications, collection reports, and you can print your gradebook. The teacher reports can be located in the grading section in the menu. At the top left corner, click on menu, go down to grading, and then over and down to teacher reports. In teacher reports, there are several different types of reports to choose from. All right, here is the collection report, grade verification report, progress report, and you can print your gradebook. Once you click on progress reports, teachers in grades eight through 12 in the schedule box, you will need to select your school and your grade level. Teachers from other schools, this option will be different. Next, you will need to select the current grading term for the report. All right, and then it says display running average. By checking this box, it will display the student's current average. Student filter. There are several ways to filter your report. The two most common ways is with the all filter, which is set by default, and then the student filter. The all filter will allow you to generate a report to see all of your students in every class period. The student filter will allow you to create a report for individual students. From the drop down menu, you will see a list of your students and they're set in alphabetical order. I'm gonna move down to assignment options. You'll need to check the box next to display assignments so that all of your assignments are displayed on the report. There are options uh, to choose from underneath, such as display the dates or display your assignment types. Last is print options. This gives you options on what information you want to be included on your report and how you want your page to be set up. By default, the box for the page break between students is turned on. This simply means that if you want more than one class period um, to be printed, they will be separated on individual pages. Now you're ready to click the button that says run report. This will generate the report as a PDF file for you to download, open, and print. Now let's look at collection reports. As a teacher, I have found this to be a very valuable tool. It allows me to generate a table with a list of all my students, which I can customize the column heading names. I use collection reports to transfer grades from Canvas to SAM, uh, from our Bell Work site to SAMS. I use it for checking out student permission forms to keep up with logins for different websites that we use in class. So let's see how to generate this report. All right, from the menu, you're gonna go back to grading and then down to teacher report and then my collections. All right, so notice that it looks very similar to your progress report area. Okay, just like before, you'll still have to select your school and that's for eighth grade through uh, 12th grade teachers. All right, just like in progress report, you still have your student filter where you can filter by all or by individual student. All right, so let's move down to columns for report. Okay, here you can determine how many columns you want to create for your table. And for an example, this could be based on how many grades you want to take in a week or for that day. So you select your number of columns and then you're going to enter uh, the names for your columns. In this example, I'm going to put in IXL. 
and you're gonna determine your width and I normally choose 40. So just whatever works for uh, your class is what you wanna customize your column names as. All right, last at the bottom is report options. What I normally check here is page break between sections, and that is for teachers who have multiple class periods that you wanna create a collection report for. Now let's run the report and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I can see my student name here. Uh, I can see my column headings for my IXL assignments. And so now after students have completed their assignments, I can pencil in their grades and transfer them to SAMS. All right, the last thing we're gonna look at is some um, grade book settings that I found to be very valuable to me as a teacher. So up here at the menu button, we're gonna go down to grading and then over to teacher grade book. All right, so up here at the very top, um, next to your section box, um, there's an icon with tools. So you're gonna click it. All right, and this is your setting uh, window here. Let's look at a few features that I found to be very helpful. Uh, the first one is default menu selection. With this feature, you're able to uh, set a page uh, once you go into your teacher gradebook each day. And for myself personally, I have my attendance um, set to be the first page after I go to my gradebook uh, as a reminder that I need to take my attendance each day. And I know that for secondary teachers, that is very important. But if you click on the menu uh, next to uh, that down arrow, you can set your page um, for any of the choices that you see in this list. It might be roster, it may be student, it may be class grades, just whatever works for you. Let's go down to grade display. Now with this feature, you can determine which assignments that you see first and which assignments you see last in your class score page. There's two options. You have ascending order and then descending order. For myself personally, I like to see my most recent grades first and then my oldest grades last. The last feature is colors. You can actually color code specific grades to be displayed in your grade book. For an example, I like for any grade that is 64 or lower to be highlighted in yellow. It's very simple. Enter the grade, enter the first box, click the icon, and then select the color from the palette for which you want that grade to be displayed. You can also choose to display grades um, that are greater than or equal to to be highlighted. It's just whatever works for you. Be sure to click the save button in order to see the new effects. I hope that this video on teacher reports and settings have been helpful.